this? It's a seminar for uh, smoking. What is this? Smoking. Okay. I don't need this. I don't like it. Either. Sir, hi. Are you the father of Patty Ortiz? Yes, I am. I'm sorry to say this, but your son didn't make it. <laughs> That's good. Well, if you want to quit smoking completely, the problem is we cannot remove all the nicotine in your body all at once. But I can give you this. This is what we call a nicotine patch. Here. In using this nicotine patch, you have to wear the patch on your skin. Where it slowly releases nicotine, which is absorbed into your body through your skin. Using the patch can help you reduce withdrawal symptoms when you quit, such as cravings, irritability, and difficulty concentrating. There. That's it. Thank you, doctor. All right. Appreciate your help. You're welcome. What is a transdermal patch or transdermal system? Transdermal patch is a medicated adhesive patch that is placed on the skin to deliver drug into the bloodstream at a predetermined rate and maintain clinically effective concentrations over a prolonged period of time. It can provide a controlled release of medication from 24 hours up to 7 days. A typical transdermal system is composed of an adhesive matrix which contains the drug in between the backing foil and the release liner. Examples include nicotine for tobacco smoking withdrawal, scopolamine for motion sickness, nitroglycerin for angina pectoris, testosterone and estrogen for replacement therapy, fentanyl as analgesia, and clonidine for hypertension. Advantages are the following. Non-invasive, can be self-administered, convenient, Alternate route for patients who are unable to take oral medications. Dose delivery unaffected by vomiting or diarrhea. Less frequent dosing improves patient compliance. Provide release for long periods of time. Avoid hepatic first pass metabolism and the GI tract. Disadvantages include limited number of drugs are amenable. Adhesion may vary with patch type and environmental conditions. Drug molecule must be potent because patch size limits the amount. And potential local skin irritation may occur. How to apply the transdermal patch? Begin by reading the product specific instructions. Before starting, wash your hands. Select an area of the skin to apply the patch. Prepare skin area. Make sure it is free from dirt, oils, powder, or lotion. Open patch from the package. Be careful from not cutting open the patch. Next, remove the protective liner. Attach the sticky part on an area of the skin. Press down the patch firmly on the skin. 
discard the batch packaging in an enclosed trash can. Afterwards, wash your hands. When it is time to remove previous batch, use fingers to peel it off slowly. Throw used batch in an enclosed trash can. Wash your hands. How does it work? Now we deal with pharmacokinetics, which refers to what the body does to a drug. Its properties include absorption, distribution, metabolism, and elimination. And it abides by two basic parameters, clearance and volume of distribution. Absorption. As a drug is administered, it first goes through absorption which focuses on how the drug gets into the body. Remember that the layers of the human skin are the following. Epidermis which contains the stratum corneum that serves as a major barrier to drug absorption. Dermis where blood vessels are located and hypodermis. For drug to reach the blood vessels in the dermis, they must have or be low molecular mass, less than 500 Dalton, highly lipophilic, low required dose, less than 2 mg, low melting point, non-ionic, high potency, short half-life, and take note, hydrophilic drugs can reach the dermis via shunt pathways such as hair follicles and spectrum. Delivery systems include Reservoir patch that has a delivery rate controlled by adhesive membrane between the reservoir and the skin. Matrix patch wherein drug is in adhesive polymer matrix and whose delivery depends on the amount of drug and area of the patch. From the patch, Micro needles penetrate through the stratum corneum. Upon application, drug concentration is developed and drug starts to move down the feeding. Drug kinetics can be altered by means of the site of application, thickness and integrity of the stratum corneum, size of the molecule, and permeability of the membrane of the transdermal drug. Delivery system, pH of the drug, drug metabolism by skin flora, lipid solubility, and strata of skin hydration. Distribution After absorption, the drug reversibly leaves the bloodstream and enters the interstitium and tissues. Drug is absorbed in the blood capillary vasculature or dermis, and is transported to the systemic circulation. Rate of delivery and amount distributed depend on blood flow, some organs require greater blood flow than others, capillary permeability. This is determined by the capillary structure and chemical nature of the drug. Binding of drugs to plasma proteins and tissues. Albumin is a major drug binding protein and may act as metabolism. After absorption of the drug, the drug then goes to the liver and interacts with the enzyme cytochrome P450 by conjugation and creates metabolites of the drug that are either active or inactive that can easily go to the excretory site, which is the kidney. Excretion or the irreversible removal of drug from the body. First way, hepatobiliary system. The liver excretes a drug or drug metabolites into the bile, which in turn gets excreted with the feces. Second way, kidney. Metabolites get filtered at the nephron, flow through the nephron into the collecting ducts, 
and then excreted through the urine. Okay, ready? <laughs> Thank you.